The first time the comet came, it fucking wiped out the dinosaurs. The second time, it's gonna wipe your bitch ass out. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a fucking fantastic science fiction astic fucking zombie astic edition of Hillbilly DVD Reviews. Today, we're gonna be looking at taking a look at. Night of the Comet. Night of the Comet is a fantastic. Shut the fuck up, back there. Night of the Comet is a fantastic 1984 science fiction movie, kind of like a cross between Dawn of the Dead and Valley Girl. That's the way the director Tom Everhart described it, and you can tell it because a the two main characters are a couple Valley Girl chicks, an older sister, younger sister. And uh, they help each other out, try to get through all this fucking zombie laden bullshit. Basically, what happens is a comet comes by. Everybody who's out and open, all these dumb motherfuckers fucking get outside and watch a comet go by. Anybody who's outside, they get turned to red dust instantly. Anybody who's inside, they slowly start to fucking rot and dry away and turn into zombies. But there's one out on this. If you're stuck in somewhere that's fucking like made out of steel or iron or whatever fucking metal it was, then you're going to survive. The comet won't affect you. The main chick, Reg. Playing Mary Catherine Stewart, she's uh she's working on a movie theater action. She's banging her boyfriend up in the fucking projection booth. So she's all right. Younger sister who plays a cheerleader, Kelly Maroney, right here. She actually gets in a fight with her stepmom, gets punched in the nose, falls down the stairs, and then she goes out and hides out in the fucking shed in the backyard. And that's why she's okay. Two sisters, nobody's left. Few people that are left are zombies, but these two sisters come together and help each other out. So they go on this quest. They meet this other guy. Played by Robert Beltran. His name is Hector in the movie. He's just like a truck driver motherfucker. He was banging some whore in his cab, so he, that's why he's protected. And uh, he lives through the night. He meets these girls that they, they actually take over radio stations and nobody's left. So they walk in this radio station and find it's just a tape playing. So they take over the airways, like, if there's any survivors, help us out, whatever. So he shows up. Next thing you know, there's some government motherfuckers all hiding out in a fucking bunker out in the desert and shit. But they done fucked up. Even though they should have been protected, they left their fucking windows open. So these dumb motherfuckers breathe some fucking common air or whatever. They're turning the zombies too. So they try to find these girls. They try to suck their blood out, find a, not really a cure, but just like something to maintain them from going zombie. Hector, he takes a fucking road trip to go out try to see if his mom's still alive in San Diego with the girls. They go shopping, and that's what's real fucking funny about it is they go shopping in a shopping mall. They got it all to themselves. They say the store is open, blah, 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 blah. And they go in there, and they listen to fucking Cindy Lopper's uh, Girls Just Want to Have Fun. But the funny part is... It ain't Cindy Lauper singing, it's some shitty cover song, because this is a cheap-ass movie. I heard they made it for, like, somewhere between 300000 800000 but I'll tell you what, it's a good movie for being that cheap. So they're in this store, they're looting it up, putting on tiaras and all this fucking fancy bullshit. It turns out there's some zombie motherfuckers in the store. Used to be the stock boys, but now that everybody's dead, they run the store, they take offense to this shit. So they get the girls together, they take them in the stock room, and there's this real ugly motherfucker, because it's like... That's what's weird is like all the zombie motherfuckers you can tell are zombies because they're wearing sunglasses. But when they take the sunglasses on, they're all fucking eyes are like all peeling back and fucking sunk in like they got AIDS and shit. The main stock boy, Willie, aka Willie King of the Stock Boys, he looks like some fucking scary fucking pet shop boys motherfucker. That's who you remind me of. He gets in there, he's playing some Russian lep, putting a gun to their head. Let's play a game called Scary Noises. Well, just when he's ready to shoot these fucking girls right in the head, the government motherfuckers bust in, they shoot them, and the girls think, oh, goddamn, we're saved. Like I said before, the government motherfuckers, they're turning into zombies, too, so they want their blood. End of the movie, Hector has to come save their ass. He gets them out of the government compound. They blow that shit up, whatever. Next thing you know, it's the end of the movie. They end up fucking downtown L.A., and they run into this other motherfucker, Danny Mason Keener. But anyway, he shows up in a fucking Jaguar or some bullshit. Takes Kelly Maroney around. Let me tell you, that's another thing. Girl plays the younger sister, Kelly Maroney. Man, she's hot. That's what it is. It's like Dawn of the Dead meets Valley Girl. And you even get them references because if you watch the movie closely, there's Valley Girl posters in the movie theater at the beginning. There's a Valley Girl record at the fucking uh, the radio station. So, like, you'll get that thing. And that's what's cool about this. It's kind of like a hybrid movie. This guy, uh, the director, Tom Everhart, he was, he was good, man. He fucking did it right. On a movie, because it's so much fun. You know, it's lightweight, just a fun sci-fi comedy or whatever. I want to give this motherfucker, because it's so enjoyable, I want to give this an 8.5 out of 10.
far as picture and quality, unfortunately this ain't a Blu-ray, this is just a DVD, but I gotta be honest man, for a DVD, the shit is very clear, colors are nice, it actually looks really fucking good man, it looks better than some of the shittier Blu-rays I got, so I'm gonna give this motherfucker 8.5 out of 10. Special features, once again, this being a fucking MGM cheap motherfucker disc, no special features, just a theatrical trailer, but hey, at least you got the movie in widescreen and fucking... It's got some good uh, 2.0 stereo and shit that sounds good, whatever. But you know, special features are gonna get up thing a fucking 2 out of 10. Two. That's it, man. Don't let zombies fucking smack your boyfriend over the head with a wrench. And don't fucking get caught in the middle of downtown LA when fucking zombies are running around. Go watch Night of the Comet. They'll show you how to fucking do it right, right here, goddamn. Zombies eat people. Alright, this is the GOAT. I'm gonna fucking hang out here a little bit. I ain't gonna let no zombies eat my brain, goddammit. And if you're gonna let them eat your brain, you're a dumb motherfucker. You're, you're an asshole. <laughs> you're a dick sucker.